Good evening, I'm Reverend Pamela M. Pinkney Blitzen. I'm a presidential candidate for the United States of America, and I want to just uh, clarify something. And Mr. George Dixon did not commit any crime, and I would pray that his attorney or attorneys would reach out to me so that some decisions can be reversed. And if you notice the political propaganda behind his life, is taking another turn. Uh, Mr. Dixon, George F. Dixon III, was doing a complaint. He was actually investigating discrimination inside of RTA and coming from RTA uh, to the people who were uh, impact, who are impacted by RTA. And Mr. Dixon was helping even me with some things. He and Mr. Calabrese is very kind people, very honest people, and he has been uh, medically challenged for a long time now, and what happened was due to this overt racism in this country, the federal government did not want to pay his medical bills, and therefore um, they called themselves cutting off his head, and uh, there's a lot to this. I've been attending the RTA board meetings for uh, at least for 18 years, give or take. And I just want to make it clear publicly to everyone that Mr. George F. Dixon and Mr. Joseph Calabrese did not commit any crimes. They did not steal anything from anybody. They were fair and honest people. As a matter of fact, uh, people who had been incarcerated, whether it be wrongfully or whatever, however the law works, uh, as well as other people had many, many opportunities of fun to this year. Take care and be blessed. Uh, and even provided provisions for people who found themselves coming out of challenges in life. And I, I pray that uh, the attorneys for both of these men uh, will reach out to me and to help me get their names clear. Thank you very much. I'm Reverend Pamela and Pinkney Butts, and my phone number is 216, if you're outside of America, 1216-548-080. Today is the first day of September 2020, and I'm a presidential candidate in this election. Uh, and Mr. Dixon and Mr. Calabrese have been very, very kind towards me. I never have had the privilege of meeting their wives uh, or their other family members, but uh, they have both been personally and professionally very kind towards me and have always treated me uh, like family, actually. Uh, very good, uh, very uh, compassionate. Even during my times of crisis, they have been very kind towards me. Take care appropriately so let's make that clear for somebody who wants to come with something else and i look forward to meeting their families and you'll be in my prayers i look forward to some redemption and some restoration for their lives and i want you to know mr dixon and mr and mrs dixon and mr and mrs calabrese i really do appreciate you